Now, Nigeria needs $12 billion to clean up decades-old oil spills in southern Bielsa State. That's according to a new report published today. The Bielsa State Oil and Environmental Commission has set out evidence of neglect by international oil companies, including Shell and Eni, which made a huge impact on the environment. The Commission's dossier, released in London today, says it'll take at least 12 years to fix. Our Chief Correspondent John Cookson has this special report. Bielsa State, for the last 60 years, a toxic brew of water, gas and oil. Pollution on an unimaginable scale, it's hard to believe humans can survive in this environment. Today, thousands of miles away in London, the Bayelsa State Oil and Environmental Commission released a new report renewing its plea to oil companies like Shell, who've made billions from the region, to clean up. What this report does is give a lot of texture and personal stories to the evidence from the research about the impact in Bayelsa, uh, which is in the Niger Delta, of the work of the oil companies uh, and you have uh, people's livelihoods have been destroyed over the last uh, 50 years. The incredible and devastating impact in terms of their health, uh, the fact that oil companies are not taking responsibility when there are leakages in the pipes to fix them, sometimes it takes years. Literally, you have black rain that is falling on people. I mean, respiratory uh, diseases are rife. People can't fish. Uh, there are no birds in the, the vicinity. The land has been devastated. People can't really get food. This new investigation looked at toxic contaminants in Bailsa. One sample of groundwater had toxic chemicals at over one million times safe limits. One tribal leader had this description of the oil companies. In England, in America, they pretend to be good, but when they get to Africa, to Bailsa State, they are brutal. You know, they are destructive and all of that. That is what has been going on. This, so this, this wouldn't happen in Dubai, Qatar, No, it Bahrain, won't. It, no, it, no, it won't even happen in, in, in Scotland. It no. won't happen in, uh, what do you call it, in Houston and so on. So, uh, in Houston they behave well, in Scotland they behave well, in Netherlands they behave well. But once they get to Bielsa State, once they get to Nigeria, they are brutal. And so we want their cousins, their husbands, their wives to know that this is what has been going on. That uh, the value of life back there in Bielsa State means nothing to them. They are just concerned about profit and profit alone. So we are polluted, people die. As a matter of fact, the average life expectancy in Nigeria is 54. But the life expectancy in Bielsa State and other Niger Delta states is 40. So there's a huge difference, 15 uh, uh, years. The Bielsa Commission wants the oil companies to provide $12 billion for the cleanup. Shell, Eni, and all the other oil companies uh, will be part and parcel the whole of this process. What do you want them to do? Our first and foremost is the remediation. The remediation of our environment. The environment is gone and the livelihood of our people is being affected. You have strange diseases, cancer, mention them. And so we must first of all remedy our environment and clean up our environment and bring it back. Who's going to pay for that? Uh, I, I believe that uh, uh, those who caused it, those who caused it, will also take that responsibility. Shell's parent company here in London has issued a statement to Arise News about the allegations. It says that Shell in Nigeria, that's SBDC, operates to the same technical standards as other Shell companies globally. The statement goes on, illegal activities continue to inhibit a normal operating environment for Shell. This is a reference to oil smugglers. The statement goes on, regardless of the cause of the spill, we clean up and remediate areas affected by spills originating from our facilities. John Cookson, Arise News, Westminster.
And John Cookson uh, joins me uh, from London now for more. Uh, good to see you, John, and uh, thank you for that report. Uh, really very informative and disturbing. I mean, does Shell have a point about illegal activity being responsible for at least some of those spills? Yes, of course they do, uh, but not... I mean, Shell and, and all the other oil companies, Ailey, Texaco, uh, Chevron, Exxon, uh, many of whom are in the region at the moment, they must bear a lot of responsibility for it. What proportion, we, we just don't know. We probably will never know. And uh, the, the, the most chilling thing that came from all of those in, interesting cast of characters there that we, we heard from was uh, uh, King Docolo saying that so uh, life expectancy in, in Nigeria generally is 54, but in that region it's 40. I mean, yeah, okay, I know they haven't all been killed by Shell and Exxon's activities, but a fair few of them will. Uh, the, the, you know, the cancer-causing properties of these uh, flares on, on oil rigs, the pollution of, of the water a million times more toxic than it should be. I mean, people have died. Uh, as a result of uh, oil exploration in the last uh, 60 years in that part of the region. Uh, things are changing in the sense that the big Western companies are pulling out and handing over, going off to uh, local companies. So, uh, you know, how uh, lucky activists and people bringing actions against oil companies are going to be against Nigerian companies remains to be seen. They have a better chance, surely, against the Western uh, uh, companies, but to, uh, to to answer your question, yes, of course, there are pirate saboteurs. There's all sorts of politicians with their noses in in, in the trough. There's Islamic uh, militants in that region. Uh, everyone's making a fast buck, except the thirty million people who actually live there. And uh, presumably, John, this dossier was released in London to focus international attention on this um, crisis? Absolutely. Uh, uh, the, it was a good idea to, to launch it in London. They get access to Western media as well as uh, companies like uh, Arise. And I, I know other international channels have covered the same story. And to that extent, from a, from a PR point of view, it's very good. But the, the other thing that I, I sensed was that although this story has been around for decades, if you go back to newspaper cuttings and, and, and other, other material, you see it's the same old story. You have the accusations, the oil companies say it's not ours, blah, blah, blah. But I, I do get the sense today uh, from talking to uh, uh, those people who kindly came from Nigeria was that things are changing. And there's, there's clearly some momentum here building uh, for for a, a, a massive cleanup operation. Now, Trump, I think, is going to scratch the surface. That's what they're asking for from, from, from the oil companies. Uh, uh, but uh, it, it'll be interesting to see how things uh, work out with, with, with this momentum that, you know, if you make a mess, then you, you've got to clean it up. I mean, the world is different in 2023 than it was when sh the likes of Shell there. John, thank you very much indeed. John Cookson, a Rice Chief Correspondent, talking to me there from London.